hey guys welcome back to let code in this video we're going to learn how to find the broken images using playwright it's going to be very simple so for example we are going to take this website for our learning so here you can see like we have two two broken images and we also have this avatar which is also of course a image and then we have this image so that totally we have like four images so if i go to my dev console and if i go and search for double slash img that means the xpath of image so here you can see like totally we have four images right and of course two are broken so we are going to find that so first of all we have the very basic script we are navigating to that particular site and we will wait for the page to load completely because um, sometimes image might take little time to load so we'll just wait for that and then of course using the page dot locator we are going to find this so locator in the sense right of course it will give us one as well as multiple web elements or elements so here we have these images and first of all we will just print the count okay just for our learning okay from the images what we will do we will use the function called all i mean from the locator we will use the function all um, that is going to return us a um, iterable uh, element for example here i can say like all then followed by images equal to await then followed by images dot all that means now we can use the for await so you know like the javascript the loop will not wait for the promises to resolve so we have to wait for the promises to resolve so th for that we are using this for await so all is going to uh, very handy for that so i'm going to change this here so now it's become like your it table okay so i'm going to name it like img okay now what we are going to do is we are going to first check uh if image has src so sometimes if you see all the images has src sometimes the src might be missing so first of all we will say like image not this one img dot get attribute and it's going to be the src right so let's name it like const then followed by img src okay and we are going to expect like the image src should have some value okay so here we can say like await then followed by image src dot um, of course we have to use the await here await then followed by sorry here i have to use the await yeah so now here we'll say like um, it's basically your the length right so it's going to return us the string so we'll find the length and we can expect this to be greater than like zero i mean yeah one or one not zero greater than zero so that means like we are expecting there should be something called src if src is not there uh, then it will not work for example uh, we'll make this soft i will tell you the reason so first of all we'll get the src that this this particular so for example here you can see like we have this uh, image avatar blank right so if i click on this link you can see like it's basically opening in a new tab that means of course this respond will be like your um, 202 right it won't be like a for example let me refresh yeah so here you can see like we got the jpeg image and if you go to the header and if you see the response it's basically like we are getting the response right so it's not like we are getting something error message right so with the help of src we can do that so here i will say like um, page dot request dot get okay and here we will pass our src before that in some website if you see here it's basically like your absolute uh, sorry it's like your relative path so image then followed by slash the image name right so here yeah here you can see but if you see the source it is like with the https the actual url right so I, i'm just going to take this my domain name and here i will say like get then followed by plus and end up with slash and then i will say like my uh, image src okay so image source will just attach that means like uh, like this type okay so if it's going to return me 200 then of course it's correct right so here we can store that so response await of course don't mess with the await don't miss the await okay and then we can say again like await uh, sorry expect 
and then followed by response and we are going to check the status here and it should be like to be 100 i mean to be 200 or we can also use like to be okay okay and here a one second i'm going to use this soft the reason is like we are running within the loop so if one image broken is find we want to continue our test so that it can also find other uh, look other uh, broken images right so that's the reason wherever i'm doing the asset i'm just using the soft asset so that at the end of the result we can see but um uh, your test will continue even though if there is any failure okay so that's it we are pretty much done here this is what the way to find the element now here we can enhance the script by checking the length so for example you can see like we are expecting this length to be one if the length is not going to be length is like zero of course this response will not work right so we'll just add a conditional statement here if the length is greater than one then probably we want to do this stuff okay so i'll just move this within this okay and here what is this uh it says like undefined but we know that this might not be undefined so since we have this uh still it's giving us null so we'll just add the type ps ignore this is your type skit compiler do this things all and all but you can just ignore this okay now let's go and run this i'm going to bring up my terminal and i'm going to say npm run test i have only this file in my uh, config file so it should work fine so here you can see like the browser got launched and we are waiting for the to load completely the dom content loaded means of course it will wait for everything to load okay and here you can see like we got failure because of course there is a bro broken images so if i go to the results here you can see like um yeah so here you can see like we are expecting 200 but the actual is like 400 and the uh, we can also print that and we can see okay so for example uh, i'll just write a um, fallback message on failure okay so here we'll just say like um failed to load then followed by we'll just give the image src okay so image src yeah so this will basically tell us like which image it's failing okay let me run this one more time it's pretty easy you have to find all the images loop through each and every images and use the page dot request to send a get uh request and get the response and do the assertion that's it it's very simple okay so if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comments let me show the report and finish it off okay so here you can see like we have like failed to load asdf which one is asdf the first one i guess yeah this one this one is asdf and then we have jkl uh which is this one okay other two images are of course it's working okay if, if you want to do the counting like how many images are broken if you want to get the count of course you can do you can just uh, initialize i equal to zero and on failure just increment the i once the loop is done you can just print the i that's it okay if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comment i'll be happy to reply Tada, bye bye take care